Today's short is being brought to you by Goya Foods. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sachs here with Sachs in the Morning, and welcome to Business Week. We're going to talk a little bit about business this week. Got a great lineup, got some strong opinions. I hope you got a little bit of thick skin because I'm going to kind of lay it on you this week, if you if you don't mind. Also on Thursday, we have a long-form guest. This is John Sarson from Sarson Funds. We just did the taping, and I'm telling you, if you do anything this week, Tune in on Thursday, especially because John Sarson's going to give you some great information about crypto technology. But today, we're going to talk a little bit about this term that's out there. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you've heard about this term called quiet quitting. Oh my, how the world has changed. Yep, this term called quiet quitting was popularized this year, as a matter of fact, in part by some viral social media posts. That's how I really got started. The ultimate origin of the term is kind of uncertain. It doesn't use quitting, uh, meaning resigning from one's job in the literal sense, but rather to suggest that a worker has quit certain parts of their job, such as tasks that they have taken on beyond their role. And the word quiet suggests that they have done so secretly or without informing their boss or manager. In other words, workers who engage in quiet quitting typically just stop working as much as they had been. Oh, my. You know, and I don't know what gave people the the idea that they could do this because before there was such competition out there in the workplace where people would do anything to get ahead. They'd show up early, they'd stay late, they would go the extra mile, and it was all about teamwork and trying to do all that the right way. And that's the general way that you do it. Right? You let the horse out of the barn and the horse runs hard, right? And you let people into the workplace and they, they go for it. Well, this idea now about this quiet quitting is really chapping my behind because I, I don't like the fact that people can just go out there and kind of lead it wherever they want because there's 11 million jobs that are unfulfilled right now. And so workers are going in there with this attitude. You know, what? let me tell you one thing that's going to happen. This is going to flip. This is going to change. And it's going to go back to more of a traditional way that the workplace is supposed to be the way that we grew up, the way I grew up and seeing what the workplace was like, because it's not that way right now, but it is going to flip. And these people that are these quiet quitters that can think they can get out and just, you know, call their own shots. This stuff's going to stop when these jobs start filling up. And then, uh oh, you know, what's going to happen is they're going to be way behind the curve because their skills are going to wane and they're not going to be able to keep up with what's going on in, in society today. And they're going to be the ones that are scraping and clawing just to get a job. And I can't wait till these uh, people get what's coming to them because they are. This stuff's going to change. 22, 25 bucks to work at McDonald's. Are you kidding me? That's kind of where it is right now. And people demanding that highest salaries just to work you know, in a fast food restaurant. It's going to change, folks. So the good news is, look at your competition. And in this poll that Gallup did, seven of 10 people are not emotionally engaged at work. They don't care. They're quiet quitting. This is a great opportunity for you right now to get into the workplace and really get ahead and make your mark and show your wherewithal and your work and your work ethic and all that. And this is a great time to do it because basically a lot of your competition are a bunch of pansies. So this is a great opportunity for you right now to do the right thing, work hard, and get into that traditional form and stay ahead. You know, this is a great chance to do that right now. So let's go for it and just slaughter the competition. Good luck, man. This is my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site, go to Saks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there. Mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it. And thanks to Al Hendrickson Toyota for their support of this podcast. And be sure to visit alhendricksontoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places.